Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for A Letter From A Fan. Uh, Dear Anthony, I love your interesting views and thoughts and your ways of articulating them in such a clear, concise, and entertaining way. Thank you. Which is why I'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory. Oscar Wilde said, everything popular is wrong. This seems evident in today's music charts, which are constantly topped by the likes of Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, One Direction. One only has to browse through some of the cliché, mundane, and meaningless lyrics of these tracks to conclude that this stuff is rarely of the highest quality. Because in order to attract so many downloads, it must appeal to the highest number of people touching the middle of the bell curve, if you will. And the middle of the bell curve means mediocrity or that which is average. For example, let's say that a person's appreciation for good music and their ability to recognize a track of high quality is determined by the person's intelligence, so if the average IQ is 100, then the music that appeals to people of IQs of 130 and above would not, statistically and logistically speaking, be most popular. So is this fair? Harsh? Is this the reason such talented musicians struggle to appeal to the majority? Should musicians dumb down their music in order to go mainstream? Does this apply to The Beatles, Pink Floyd, Queen, and other respectful and highly popular, mediocre, average bands? Or am I not intelligent enough to realize? Oh boy, I'd love to hear your thoughts, John Parton. Dear John. I think you made some valid points in your letter. There is definitely some music topping the charts these days that is boring, bland, and kind of thoughtless. But I do think that your letter implies, insinuates some things that I'm not really totally in agreement with. First off, that popular music is necessarily mediocre. I don't think that's the case. You do start to question yourself on this theory by citing bands like Queen and Pink Floyd and the Beatles. And for me, that's proof enough that music that's popular isn't necessarily mediocre or boring or uninteresting, but you still seem to be struggling with this. So let's go on to list The Flaming Lips, The Strokes, Nas, Kanye West, Outkast, The White Stripes, Radiohead, Black Sabbath, David Bowie, Miles Davis, Bob Dylan, The Clash, Pixies, Hendrix, and The Doors. New Order? The list goes on. All of these artists are pretty popular, and I don't think anyone would argue that their music is dumbed down. I think people tend to look at the music that is coming out today and topping the charts and being like, whoa, this music's terrible. And then they look at the popular music of the past, but only in a vacuum because they completely ignore all of the terrible stuff that came out back then that people have forgotten about since then. Oh, sugar, sugar, boo, 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 boo. Oh, honey, honey. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy and I keep you. There are lots of great musical artists that were very popular in every decade that we can cite, but also in every decade the charts have been topped with sappy love songs, really simple pop songs, novelty tunes. This is nothing new. In the early 1970s, the German experimental rock band and krautrock outfit Faust released their album The Faust Tapes, an album for the price of of a single. Believe it or not, this actually caused the band to sell tens of thousands of copies of this album that they wouldn't have otherwise. Because the Billboard charts don't tell you if an album is good or creative or artistic, all it tells you is that a lot of people bought this. And as we all know, there's a lot of different ways to get people to buy things. All of that being said, that doesn't mean that when something is popular, that it sucks. I do agree, though, that a vast majority of the music on the charts does have a sort of simpleness to it, a certain level of accessibility. However, that does not mean I agree with your second statement here that links intelligence to the type of music people enjoy. I think it's a bit of an unfair assumption since listening to more obscure music doesn't mean you're smart. In summation, no, I don't think that all popular music is mediocre or boring or dumb. And just because there is some popular music that is doesn't mean mean that there should be a stigma against popular music. There's plenty of unpopular music that is completely stupid as well. Tran? Zishin, do you think all popular music is mediocre? And if you do, why? Really, why? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, popular music forever.